Hey guys, my name is Ray from 24-7 Australia. Today we're gonna talk about this bad boy, um, Hose Sway Master Controller. So um, I'm gonna show you uh, what's in the box and how I'm gonna install it. And down the track, I'm gonna um, review about does it really work? Does it worth it? Uh, should you spend almost about a thousand bucks for this device to stop your sway or not? Um, and one other thing, this uh, video is not sponsored by any company, it's just my honest review and I would like to answer um, some common question such as after this bad boy do you still need a um, brake controller and what the brake controller do and what the sway controller do. So it's two different devices. First of all, let's open the box, see what we got in there, and is it really hard to um, install it or not? So this device is gonna go on the Oz RV, and it comes all with these three pieces. So one of the pieces have to go in this attachment alrighty and you can't do it other way around so they made it somehow that it's easy and you can't question yourself to see which side is what and that one basically goes on the car that's why you got the longer um, cable to reach more so you can either um, put this one on your car and um, this piece at the back of your uh, bumper or turbo or whatever and when you're just connecting your trailer or camper van or car caravan or whatever you just like this piece too it's up to you which way you like it in my setup I'll probably just do the 12 pin to the 12 pin the male to the female so let's go and have a look where i'm gonna attach this on oz rv xl15 so um this device have to be face up because you've got the gps in it so you can't install it like this or any other way around here on the on the caravan doesn't matter you put it on the right hand side or the left hand side or even if you want to put it in the middle which all of that I was trying to find out in YouTube I couldn't have to call in a place and ask them I made sure it doesn't really matter or not so you need about four hole on the chassis and uh, to make it stable and to face it up because of the GPU so I have already made a four hole um, to do that it's a common sense just put the device there and uh, with a pen or something just mark it out move the device make the holes so to make the video short i just did this one uh, already so we're gonna put a bolt in to hold it up there For, um, it would be better if I had the rim on the other side to do it on the left hand side but unfortunately because of uh, this bad boy I can't mount it on that side so I had to mount it on this side which make it a bit reverse other way around that longer cable should be at the front but it's not so it's not a big of a deal it's long enough still to reach the turbo on the car and the uh, 12 pin on the car so from here you have to connect a um, 12 pin from the caravan, not from the car. That one is done, it's connected, you can zip tie it, you can bolt it to the chassis or however you like your setup or it's depend on your setup. And the longer side goes to the car. So, that's basically it for the connecting this device to your caravan it's not big of a deal it's a 
uh, plug and play. It's simple as you just need to make a uh, full hole for the uh, bolt to keep it on the chassis. So the other things that I was uh, questioning a lot and I look in uh, YouTube and uh, I looked everywhere I couldn't find an answer for it. Do you need your brake controller still to be operating or not after installing this device? Yes, you do need the brake controller. What's the brake controller do? It's uh, brake the caravan when you're braking with your car. So that's for when you want to stop. But this device breaks the caravan when um, when you're not braking on the car and it makes the caravan when it sways around um, make the wheels to do a little break to stretch it between the car and caravan and make it straight and stop the sway. Uh, so that's the whole purpose. Um, yeah, you don't need to uh, get rid of uh, your brake controller. You need to keep that one in. As I said, it's just plug in one side to the caravan and the other side to the car. That's it for this. And in the video, definitely it will be talking about a, how does it operate and if it's a really good device and worth to buy it. For now, Thanks so much for watching our videos and uh, following our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see the further videos that we're going to make. And um, definitely you're going to learn a lot. Um, honest review and honest videos will be on the way. Thank you so much for watching. So basically to make sure that the unit is operating alright. Um, three time flashing uh, blue light is the guy so you, after you install everything and plug it to the car you um, get someone to hold the brake and see uh, if the light is flashing three times blue um, let it go and do it again Bob. yeah so now um, I know that the unit is uh, installed correctly and there is um, no uh, fault in it and it's operating alright. We'll see on uh, real life on the highway see how there's a control.